Hello Pisces, welcome to your general reading for March 2024. Let's begin with the message I received during meditation, Pisces. Um, I heard that for whomever I am reaching today, you're getting ready to shake yourself loose from a situation. It could be a relationship, it could be a job. Something has kept you tethered. If you're feeling restless and needing a change, you're going to get it. I, I saw a door and the door was, you know, decidedly being closed, which means you're either leaving something, you're finding the door to the exit, or you are opening the door to another opportunity. I mean, we've all heard the saying, when one door closes, another opens. So Pisces, let's find out what you need to know about this energy. Breakthrough. You have found a solution that can transform your situation. Your hard work and perseverance has finally paid off. Okay, let's see where this leads us. What does Pisces need to know, Spirit? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatcher for March 2024. What do you have for Pisces? Okay. That's it, bottom of the deck. The student is ready. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Okay, let's see what we have. Rediscovery, Lightworker, wow. Relationship paradigms, pivot point, divine plan at work, imparting wisdom. I kept those together. I feel like some of you are being guided by the divine, by your guides, by your ancestors. This could mark a, a significant shift in a relationship. It could be that you're evaluating um, something you're currently involved in. I just saw 222. Others, you're looking at uh, your relationship choices differently than maybe you have before. If this peeling back the layers of, you know, a situation you're involved in means, you know, I, d I don't know that I'm meant to stay here. I don't know that I'm meant to give this any more energy. It could be that there is, you know, something bigger, different, or, you know, otherwise meant for you on your path that is unfolding for you right now. I think it's important to note that with this light worker energy, there is a light that is being shown for someone. You might be doing this for someone else. Maybe they are seeing you differently. Maybe they're going through an awakening. A lot of these readings are cross watcher readings, so I could be reaching somebody you're connected to. So, wow, Pisces, let's take a look at what you need to know about this. What's happening? Anything else? Man holding a coin at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we, we have anxiety. Oh, victim mentality. Financial constraints. And there's the doors. I always say in this particular rendering, some are closed, some are open. It feels to me like what's happening here is a decision that is a difficult one. And whatever the decision that is presenting itself, um, there's some repercussions. There could be repercussions financially. It could be that, you know, time and emotions are a factor. Time may may not be on someone's side. I see this, this time, you know, this, this hourglass, well, it's, I don't know if it's an hour, but you get me. It's running, it's running low. Like some time has passed and maybe that puts some added pressure on what's happening. 
if this is somebody you're connected to, they're not dealing well with this. And I, I feel like the longer they are in this kind of, uh, you know, energy of, of worry or anxiety or even immobility, like sometimes fear is so gripping that, you know, the cobwebs of a situation begin to uh, create a, an impasse or the inability to make a choice because it's so difficult. They might be going through something that they can't seem to find, you know, the exit. They can't seem to get out of. If this is your energy, somebody may be witnessing this in your life. And I, I feel like Spirit is saying, don't stay tethered. I mean, that's what came through in meditation. If you're feeling restless and need a change, if something has kept you tethered, you're going to find the door. I mean, you can't, <laughs> you can't make this any clearer. So let's see what unfolds for you, Pisces. What do you need to know? I'm just going to make some room. What will unfold for Pisces? <laughs> yeah, looking to the future, finding the door, choosing a direction. Ooh, I just heard regardless of the consequences, regardless of what other people think. Ooh, some of you might be dealing with the opinions of other people. Maybe they're, you know, kind of naysayers. Maybe they're feeding you these lines of, you know, but what about, but, 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 what about me? I don't know. I don't know what I'm picking up on, but it, you know, when, when we have positive encouragement, it makes decisions easier, right? When we have opposing opinions that conflict with our own intuition, it can place doubt, fear, worry. What's going to unfold for Pisces spirit? I'm going to shuffle one more time. Something tells me this is a really straightforward reading. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords. Lovely. <laughs> What's going on, Pisces? Oh. Okay. Well, the first card out is the Ace of Cups. It's almost like the Divine says, you know, we have something positive, fulfilling, um, something that is going to pull you out of this. I, I, I do feel like the tethers could be uh, the emotional aftermath of something or, uh, you know, even like, I, I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting like a, a guilt tripping energy and I don't know what that is. So maybe you keep your, wow, <laughs> if this is you, if this is a new opportunity, Pisces, and it requires you close the door, wow, eight of cups, and walk away from something, you are so keeping that to yourself. Not saying, not showing, not expressing, none of your business. I, I'm kind of getting, you are closed off and tight-lipped. All right, if, if this is happening out, outside of your life, if this is the energy of someone you're connected to, they're feeling this, they're not saying a word. I'm, I'm just kind of getting, um, you know, someone needs to look up. It, look up meaning see the alternatives, be positive about a situation, don't worry about what you think might happen. Don't worry about um, even a pattern repeating because the moment you recognize that something has to change, and I, I just saw 911, um, then you just have to put that ball in motion. And I feel like that's what this page of wands is doing. As a reader, this is my travel energy. It could be that this is a journey of the of the heart, mind, and soul. This could literally be, you know, a, like a getaway, a trip. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. It, it doesn't feel like big energy. It feels like this is the, the transition. Oh, shoot. This is the transition from um, I can't 
to why wouldn't I? Ace of Cups, is this new love? Is this the divine saying, listen, we have an alternative for you. You've been ignoring this. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. It could be you're connected to someone who hasn't wanted to take a chance in your relationship because of their own tethers. Maybe they will. Page of Cups, a message coming to you. Okay. Uh, page of Wands in reverse and judgment. Okay. I, I feel like um, this speaks to an impasse or the inability to move something forward. Maybe not taking a chance, ignoring impulses. It, it, you know, and maybe that's why we saw the tower energy. The divine may be saying, wait a minute, it, it's time. It's time to do something about this. Eight of Cups fool. <laughs> and, and you know, look at that. This is so clear. It's so clear. And look at that. We have the Queen of Wands, King of Wands. I, th I think this is about a really dynamic, powerful, and I just saw 1111, very um, energetic kind of connection, like passionate magnetic. I think that was the word I was looking for. And it's been backburnered. It's been ignored. And the weight of that is um, becoming too much. Because I, I do feel intuitively that there is an incredible longing here. But the, the circumstances of life, of other people, of, you know, maybe distance, um, obligation is standing in the way of this. And so, you know, so there's an impasse, hanged man. And the divine is saying, um, remember what's in your heart. Don't look at what you can't change or what is creating this uh, very bogged down feeling of, of stress and anxiety because you can change that. Okay, let's look at the five of cups. What is this regret about perseverance? Perseverance, communication, movement, ah, communication, needed, ace of swords in reverse. There's a truth that needs to be revealed. And, you know, maybe that is what has kept a situation um, in, a, in a state of being stuck. The truth has to come out. What is this Ace of Swords reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. Something is going to change something drastically. Now, if this is just the, the need to communicate, but the truth has been withheld, remember? <laughs> Holding back, not saying a word. Um, it could be that something is about to shift. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, this is pretty big energy. We didn't start out with big energy, but it's beginning to reveal itself. Let's look at the Page of Wands. Eight of Cups. Moving on, travel, a journey. The Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Um, now, I'm, I'm suddenly seeing the energy of someone taking charge of their finances, their future, their independence, looking at what they bring to the table in a situation. This could be, you know, your hard work is like going to open doors. Maybe you've had a tough time financially. Maybe you thought, gosh, you know, how do I, how do I change the trajectory of something if, if my circumstances are this and this? And maybe you just need to get creative. But I, I feel like there is something that you will invest in or have invested in that's going to move you forward. It could move you forward to um, abundance, independence. Let's look at the Ten of Wands. This could just simply mean you're almost there. You have some effort you have to put in. Whoops, that's a lot. Um, these came out in reverse. The Hermit Reverse. 
the three of swords reverse, the star reverse. You want to get to a better place, but you need to look at the journey of how you ended up where you were. Hermit reverse, what have you learned? I heard those, and, and I've heard this before, it's not my quote, those who do not reflect upon the past will surely repeat it. And I, I don't know what that means in the context of what's going on for you. Um, it could be that maybe someone's been healing, someone has been taking some time to reflect. This is quiet contemplation. Three of pentacles, eight of swords, three of cups, seven. D um, do you see what's happening here? It's almost like the, the excitement of something, the possibility of something, three of cups, three of pentacles, is revealing to whomever is going through this that there is a possibility. But with the eight of swords and the seven of pentacles, it's like, but, but, but. So somebody's making excuses, perhaps. I could do this, but I'm in a comfort zone. I mean, there, there could absolutely be a comfort zone happening here. And I think the divine is saying, listen, we're encouraging you to explore this, put, put some effort into this. Oh my gosh. Okay. They came out upright this time. Temperance and the five of pentacles. Okay. I do feel that there, you know, when the reflection happens, when this, when this period of aloneness, introspection, and, and um, wisdom seeking, I'm kind of getting from, from whatever has brought you to this point. That three of swords is just disappointment, heartbreak, something like that. And, and maybe it's, you know, financial lack. I feel like when you can exit that mindset, temperance, there's something that suddenly will, you know, spark an idea. There's something that you, you heal. The, again, this could totally be a mindset. Five of, of wands. I was kind of getting, you know, if there are naysayers, um, they just need to be shown the truth. Uh, so I didn't mean to delay that, but... Um, I was looking at this Ace of Swords in reverse. So with justice, it feels like this is, this is either a choice or an event that brings something into balance. What is that? I mean, look at this, guys. Judgment, the wheel, the star, the hermit, temperance, justice. This is pretty big energy. I almost feel like this is like divine intervention. What is justice? What is going to bring... Pisces or this situation back into balance. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is either an effort made by another or something coming toward you. This could be news, information, money, a gift, an offer. Wow. Death with Ace of Cups. Something. Wow. What is death? <clears throat> Okay, like this, the Knight of Wands. Okay, I, I feel like this is, uh, like I'm hearing, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is like a caution to the wind. If something has been taking a while, there is caution being thrown to the wind. It changes something significantly. There can be um, a, a, a shift in someone's demeanor, in their approach. If this is about a relationship, this could be someone who is um, bringing forward something that they couldn't before. Six of Pentacles, restoring balance to the connection. This could be some sort of, you know, a gift, payback, reciprocity. Okay, what does Pisces need to know about all of this? <clears throat> redirect 
safety and protection u-turns considering alternatives well that's really what this has been about closing doors and opening doors and what are you going to do about it so Pisces we're going to stop here and take this to the extended we're going to look at what is it that's being presented and uh, the possibilities for how that will unfold and what you need to know so I'll leave it there the link is below if you want to join me Pisces if not thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video take care